going to make the most accurate block streets tier list in the world as of 2024. And I'm attempting to make it by ranking every block street on four main things. Visuals, damage, and how fun it is. The first fruit is Rocket. The Rocket. Rocket. The Rocket Fruit is a visually impressive, affordable option. It has good design and a cool blast off effect. Attacks are insane, but damage is bad due to difficulty hitting targets. Only 3 attacks is a drawback. Decent, but not as good as the other options. And this is just first of many fruits we're going to rank in this tier list. Next up we got Spin. The Spin Fruit has basic visuals, but its attacks are cool, resembling swords. The range on one of its moves is impressive, however, only having three moves is a major drawback. The range makes this fruit slightly decent, but overall it's still lacking. Chop Fruit. Chop Fruit's sword immunity saves it from F tier. Weak at distance, but decent overall. Sp Spring. Spring fruit has poor range, damage, and visuals. Um, the visuals make it terrible. Bridge crossing ability saves it from F tier, but it's still C tier. Bomb. Bomb has cool visuals but OP attacks. However, its one move makes it stand out. It could pull enemies into mines dealing massive damage. I like using self-destruct, but it's not worth sacrificing 10,000 HP. Overall, I'd rate it third best in C tier. Smoke. Smoke fruit's abilities are sneaky and devastating. The fruit itself looks cool and its attacks are alright, but the real kicker is its damage output. It's insane. For a common fruit, it could melt he health easily. Plus, the flying ability makes it grinding like a breeze. It's not insane, but I love it. Sp Spike. Spike fruit is a bad egg. You wouldn't want to use it because the Z move is okay and the world move is meh. The only decent part is the ball move, but it's not even that great. There's nothing fun about this fruit, it's just a bad deal. I'd rate it a low C tier. Flame. You appreciate its awakening moves, but it's not the best for PvP. Falcon. Despite being mocked on by many players, the falcon fruit has its strengths, particularly in PvP where its speed and agility can put in great effect because it's honestly not that bad. I while the ice fruit's moves have their uses in certain situations, its weakness in water-based environments makes it less desirable for those who frequently engage in underwater battles. Sand. The sand fruit's unique ability to create a sandstorm that slows down enemies is incredibly useful in PvP. Its design is also visually striking, with a desert-inspired aesthetic that's pretty hard to ignore, while its moveset is not particularly complex. Dark. The dark combo potential is undeniable, but its lack of survivability and vulnerability to attacks hold it back from reaching its full potential. The diamond fruit is one of the weakest in the bunch, but with the poor design choices that fail to inspire the confidence in its abilities, the stun is not that bad though. Light. The fruit's ability to fly is incredibly useful in PvP. Its design is also visually striking with a radiant glow that's hard to ignore. While its moveset is not particularly complex, its utility and versatility make it a strong choice for players who value damage and running. Rubber. The rubber fruit's ability to absorb damage is very good when fighting rumbles in PvP. Its design is also visually striking with a bouncy and dynamic appearance that's hard to ignore. While it's a moveset, it's not particularly complex. Its running abilities make it a strong choice for players who value survivability. Barrier. The barrier fruit's defensive capabilities are unmatched, with its ability to block attacks and protect allies from harm. Its design is also visually striking with a rock that can change the color. Ghost. Ghost is kinda good with minions and good for running. It's honestly better than ice, dark, flame, and even bomb. Magma. The magma fruit's C 
beast hunting powers are unmatched, making a top pick for who enjoy underwater battles and sea beast hunting. Buddha. While the Buddha Fruit's shift ability has its uses in certain situations, it's not enough to elevate it to the best of the best, but it's honestly very, very good. Love. This fruit's long-range attacks are deadly accurate, and its minion summoning ability can turn the tide of a battle in an instant. Spider. The spider fruit's webs can stun enemies and immobilize them, making it an excellent choice for those who value crowd control. Its design is also visually striking with a menacing and dark appearance that's sure to intimidate opponents. Sound. The sound's root unique tempo meter adds an extra layer of strategy to gameplay, as players must carefully manage their rhythm to unlock powerful moves and not stay with the weak ones. Phoenix. The Phoenix fruit boasts an impressive design with a fiery aura that crackles with energy. Its moves are aggressive and flashy, with a dash of flair that makes it a joy to use. Portal. This fruit's a game changer, and for good reason. Its ability to teleport players anywhere on the map is unmatched, allowing for quick escapes from danger and strategic repositioning in battles. Rumble. Rubber mains will hunt this fruit in every single server, so only use it when you feel like it and there's no rubbers in sight. Pain. We don't need to discuss this fruit. Its name tells what it's about. Blizzard! This fruit's a game changer and for good reason. It has a multi-target move allowing for quick escapes from danger and strategic repositioning in battles. It also has its own domain expansion gravity it's the worst of the worst there's nothing good about it and it's very mid it's only good for stun and scamming players who are new to second c Ma mammoth mammoth is just one of the best very good damage lots of fun to use and the insane visuals of transformation it's just like kitsune but in the base form it doesn't have its m1s only in the transformation t-rex this is what made mammoth extinct as soon as the update dropped even the in the shop mammoth and t-rex are fighting for the prices they both are the same amount of money if you're ever fighting a mammoth just use t-rex oh the god for pvp if you don't have leopard until kitsune changed and everything messed up the trading value is also good and doe is just one of the good pvp fruits for a cheap price and it's close to leopard and kitsune Sh Shadow. Shadow has its own domain expansion, which is way better than Blizzard's, and it gets buffs at nighttime. Imagine you're just losing at day, and the, it turns night. The tables have turned. Ven Venom. Venom is not good. It's literally trying to compete with all of the mythicals, but it's not even that good. All it does transformation, but tick damage, honestly, S tier. Literally so good. I wish that had in kit soon. Um, but it makes you a big target, so... It has more cons than pros. Control. This fruit is the god of midness. Unless your whole Bloxert's life you've played this, then you would be better. And it still hasn't gotten its rework. If you made it this far into the video, comment control rework. Spirit. The, this fruit is the god of everything other than kitsune and leopard it could run deal insane damage gets allies and even buff it's just the best support or run fruit you could ever get mostly for pvp though since the spirits don't deal that much damage to enemies but it does cover crowd control which is multiple enemies <laughs> Dragon, I don't have to explain this fruits. You know what everyone wants. Please, please get dragon, 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 dragon. Dragon. Anyways, enough with that. 
leopard fruit. When leopard came, it was the goat of all block fruits. They were literally adding too much OP fruits after, though, like Kitsune, and now something even better than Kitsune, Dragon Rework. Now, I'm not complaining. I want the Dragon Rework as much as you guys do. So comment Dragon Rework if the devs see this. Kitsune, the new best of the best. It allows the user to transform into a Kitsune. It's only 8 million belly, or 4,000 Robux, which is quite a lot for the Robux. But the belly? That's a steal. It offers a unique and powerful moveset with AoE and multi-target attacks. It has a high value in trading due to its grinding and PvP potential. It provides a speed boost, dash boost, and the ability to run on water while transformed. It can be mounted by other players while transformed, allowing for cooperative play. It has a passive ability that allows it to gain tails and increase its power over time. It deals burn damage when three tails acquired. A unique transform animation and movement style while transformed. Like, that's just the best. Kilo. Now for our king, the Kilo Fruit. Comment, we want Kilo, if you want Kilo to replace the rocket. And that's the Blocks Fruits tier list. <laughs> <laughs>